Hello, I am Keithana, your business optimizer and integrator. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the low hanging fruit of systemization. This would literally help you create a clone of yourself and immediately free up 40 hours per month. And uh, the beautiful thing about it is it slowly starts removing you from different pieces in the business and you're going to stop wearing multiple hats, which is something that's great to start off with. But over time, as your business grows, as your baby matures, you want to start delegating tasks out to other people. And this is where it all begins. This is square one. So the first thing you must do to immediately free yourself from you know, the day-to-day activity is by creating something called SOPs. What does SOP stand for? SOPs stand for Standard Operating Procedures. And the question I get most asked about is, where do I start? And usually the overwhelm with, you know, where to start, how to get this going is what keeps a lot of people never getting started. So you most business owners face this challenge of, hey, I cannot give this task away because only I know how to do it. I'm special. Maybe somebody else won't get it. Believe me, you know, that's special. It can be replicated and that's where SOPs come in. So how do you start? You start by taking a nice clean sheet of paper. The first week, just begin by auditing your week, which means like write down all the tasks that, you know, you do every single day and start you know, at the end of the week, just audit your whole week and be like, okay, which were the tasks that took most of my time and which of these tasks could I systemize, streamline or automate? Like if you could automate, that's great. Otherwise, let's let's systemize it and create a step-by-step detailed guide of how to go about doing this. And this is great for tasks which are closest to money, administrative tasks, like think about it client fulfillment activities let's start there because those are revenue generating and then there's also going to be everyday admin tasks that you probably need help with get a virtual assistant and once you have the SOPs start giving that to your virtual assistant and let them start you know taking over task after task task after task and the beauty of this is it starts really slow but one day you're going to get up and be like oh my god I have so much extra time to actually focus on the big picture tasks of the business you know the needle moving activities the money generating activities really the gigantic steps of visionary must take and this is what is really going to help you it is basic it is common sense and believe me when I say no one's going to do nobody does this correctly it's also the most boring thing nobody likes to systemize but that's what's going to make the biggest biggest difference here and the beauty of this is once you learn to start doing this right you can build a process dependent business not a people dependent business let me repeat that you build a process dependent business not a people dependent business so that means if your VA has to leave tomorrow and you have to bring somebody else in it's easy to get them trained and Let's talk a little bit more about how to create effective SOPs in the next, you know, couple of minutes. So the first thing to do is to start understanding, okay, now I know where I have to start and what I have to start documenting. What are the tools that I'm going to be requiring to use? Start with something as basic as Loom, a video recording a toolkit. You have Loom, you have screencast matic you can figure what makes best sense to you. I love Loom, so you can check that out. So essentially, all you have to do is while you're recording the video, just kind of record while you're, you know, when you're doing the task, record your video and go through it step by step. And think of it like think of few hygiene practices, right? Like if you are watching a detailed how to do video on something, you don't want too much clutter. Like you don't want many tabs open. You want it to be uh, clean. Like you want it to be clutter free. So just have the tabs where which are open, which is related to the task. That is one. And secondly, don't try to create 30 minute long walkthrough videos. Nobody likes that. Everybody hates that. And try to create shorter Lego size pieces, which you can then stitch up together to make it a flow workflow if required. And the beauty of that is if you have to update a certain video, it just means you have to edit that bite size video, not everything else. So that is a step two. And uh, the last thing is, to have a few pieces like give context in your SOP like you know when someone's looking at your SOP give them why this SOP exists 
because that makes them understand the bigger picture of why the SOP exists and uh, makes them feel part of the business rather than being like, okay, I'm to just do this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm just doing this because it's what I'm told. So give them context and also at the end of the SOP, add something called completion filters or a quick checklist to mark this SOP is complete. And what this does is once somebody executes the SOP step by step, step by step, now you're basically saying, hey, you know, this SOP is completed when A is done, B is done, C is done, D is done. So what this does is it reduces your uh, energy to go and check and go back and give them feedback saying, hey, you missed this step because they would have done the checklist to mark it as complete. And that saves a lot of time and creates uniformity in your delivery. And this is the this is the future of cloning and cloning really happens. So this is how you clone yourself. This is how you remove yourself from the business. And really, it's, it's super simple. And what people forget to do is they forget to create SOPs. They don't see value in it. They don't organize it. They don't structure it. And it's harder to delegate the tasks, you know, once this happens. And lastly, the second biggest thing most people forget to do is they forget to maintain SOPs and you don't create an SOP once and forget it like you don't buy a house with a lawn and not you know keep up the lawn or not maintain the lawn if it's not maintained weeds are gonna grow it's gonna get messy it's gonna infest it with a lot of you know unwelcome guests you don't want that you want to keep it clean you want to set up a few periodical checks to see if SOPs require updates and things like that and let me tell you this if you are somebody who's struggling to do this and you want to talk to somebody and outsource it you can always reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you with this but if you are somebody who's like I want to do this on my own and get started somewhere this is how you get started. I hope you found this video useful. And if you do have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And if you did find this video even a tad bit useful, please leave, you know, you like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel because that's going to push the YouTube algorithm to share my video to more people and more like-minded business owners like yourself. Thank you so much. Have a great day.